And Tom, what difference is winter going to make to this conflict? Because it's around the corner in a couple of months and Ukrainian yeah. winters are notoriously bitter. Yeah. Well, what is making, it's going to bring bigger advantages for Ukraine. Primary reason so far why the Russian armed forces were relatively successful, which is actually just one segment of Russian armed forces, this is the ground forces, have been successful the last, uh, let's say, since April, since it, since it got warmer in Ukraine, is the combination between their, their UAVs, Orlan 10 in, in particular, and their artillery. Orlan 10 is a very, rather, or, or rather primitive military system. It's not even military. It's actually only the, the, the fuselage and wings are military grade. Everything else is actually bought on, on open market. You know, Canon cameras and Canon video, cam video cameras and, and ECM systems, everything they install into these UAVs is uh, civilian grade equipment, which means that it cannot work at temperatures below five degrees centigrade. Which in turn means as soon as it's freezing outside, the Russians are going to be blind along the battlefield. And then they, they are going to have huge problems with finding the Ukrainians along with that. This is why Russians have now rushed to buy UAVs from, from uh, Iran, because Iran, thanks to, to Chinese support and, and technical support and know-how, and even organizational production in Iran, uh, Iran is capable of delivering military-grade UAVs. So the Russians are obviously planning to replace their, their, their own UAVs, which are useless in winter, by Iranian UAVs. We're going to see if this is going to be effective or not. But generally, Ukraine should be on advantage. So that's very interesting because I would have thought that it would, you know, it, it would help the Russians because they push them back and they can. And look, again, I'm a layman, but, you know, you can restrict, you know, the flow of goods and whatever else. He just thinks the Russians are invulnerable to the cold. Though. Yeah, yeah he's exactly. spent a lot of time around me. Yeah. But I, I would have thought that they'd it would it would help them to kind of not starve the Ukrainians out, but certainly make things far more uncomfortable okay. for them. I mean, we have to distinguish between Ukrainian armed forces and Ukrainian civilians. We have there are millions and millions of Ukrainians in eastern Ukraine feeling this war on their uh, you know direct impact upon their uh, everyday life. They are going to be freezing. They are going to be hungry and so on, and, and they are not going to survive without extensive aid from from the West and from Kiev and so on. This is one part of the story. But Ukrainian armed forces, they have no problem. They are already in the process of distributing winter clothing and winter equipment on their uh, to their troops. So this is not going to be that much of a problem. Clothing, food, fuel. As you can see, the Ukrainian uh, supply system is working perfectly. And the Russians have massive problems just trying to find it, you know, in order to hit it, for example, from the air with, with, with cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and so on. They're not successful in these regards. So this is not a problem for the Ukrainian armed forces. On the contrary, because of the system Putin and because of all the lies with which they are feeding their people for, for decades already, and because now they're starting to realize the extension of these lies, the morale is very low. And then you have system Putin in regards of command system, where, the, where, the, where Putin is bypassing all the normal chain of command in the armed forces and all the issue, issuing uh, direct orders upon field commanders, which is spoiling everything. He's throwing, you know, every single day he's throwing the, the, the Russian military doctrine and strategy out of the window, ignoring them completely and issuing ever new orders for assaults on, on specific objects and so on, which result in heavy casualties. But he can't care about this. Why? Because he thinks that his favorites owe him a favor, or, or, or returning a favor, all the favors he has granted to them. And so this is a, a vicious circle in, in, inside Russia, which is going to result you know, in, in further debacles like this one in Eastern Kharkiv now. This is going to happen time and again. The, However, in between of this or such debacles, there are going to be, you know, periods of many months where the Ukrainians will have to maneuver to find such weak spots in uh, in Russian front lines, to in order to exploit them. That is going to be crucial for the for the coming winter.